Liverpool in lockdown. Like many towns and cities across the UK, the streets fell largely silent as the year saw the cultural scene grind to a halt. But the city's famous Cavern Club was able to let the music play on, thanks to a state grant which allowed it to pay its regular musicians to stream music live for 10 hours a day. I once had a girl. It, it, it was a hard adjustment to make, I think, and thankfully with these live streams, um, you know, they afford the opportunity, although you don't get the audience interaction quite the same, it's, a, it's certainly a very, you know, a modern way of doing things. For the Cavern Club, a music venue famous for launching many bands, most notably the Beatles, this was a lifeline. It was incredibly um, important for, for the musicians, because these are the guys who, who hadn't worked for six months. Um, and there hadn't been that much support for, for them. In diff different places, they might be under different restrictions, uh, harsher restrictions, and, it, and it, for, for many, uh, it's, it's been a lifeline. So is this live streaming something that you're thinking about incorporating in the future, even when live audiences can come back? It's about, you know, keeping people connected through our music, and if we can continue to do that, uh, we certainly will. A deserted London theatre land. Venues large and small across the country were impacted, many closing with no opening date in sight, prompting a rethink about how they could connect with audiences. The Saatchi Gallery opted for a high-tech experiment, where people sitting in their homes could explore the gallery by directing robots to roam in their place. I banish you! And the National Theatre teamed up with other major playhouses to offer a series of film productions, initially free of charge and later in the year, for a fee on a par with TV streaming services. But for many performers, it's been a tough year, with the UK government criticised for supporting art institutions rather than the people in them. Our industry has suffered immensely this year. Choreographer and dancer Cameron MacDonald, who's currently working outside the arts, enlisted friends to make a video called And We Will Come Back Home to reach out to performers sidelined by the pandemic. I hope to return to work as a professional choreographer and, and a performer. I hope that our, our industry survives and I can get back to normal how we used to be, the flow of everything. Take a look at my girlfriend, she's the only one I got. For thousands of performers and their audience, the hope for 2021 is that the art scene re-emerges stronger and more appreciated after a year of high drama and creative delivery. Catherine Drew, CGTN, London.